guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm standing inside of a 2000s bathroom. This is an ensuite bathroom and I want to show you how we took it from this to this. I'm so excited to show you this master bathroom today. You guys, before we dive in, would you take a second and tap subscribe? I'd love for you to be a part of our growing community. While you're at it, hit the bell so you're notified every time there's a new video. I post a new video every Thursday, but also sometimes I post more than one video a week. So you're gonna wanna be notified when those come out. I would love to hear your thoughts, your questions, your ideas, what home renovation projects you're working on next. So take a second, shoot me a comment, and let's connect in the comments below. So where we live in the uh, 90s kind of era, there were new homes being built and all of them, I shouldn't say all of them, but many of them had these really massive corner bathtubs included in the ensuite bathrooms. I don't know if it's like that where you guys are, are but here as time has progressed, those things really take up a lot of space and a lot of times people wanna replace them with something different. So the first thing you notice when you walk in this old bathroom is this massive corner tub. Also, there was a single vanity in here. So yes, it was really wide and it, it was long enough to really have a lot of counter space, but it really is only suitable for one person to be at the sink at a time. Another problem that they, the homeowners wanted to address in this washroom was the light fixtures. The way that these light fixtures were um, originally put up creates terrible lighting for getting ready. It casts a downward shadow and it's absolutely brutal. So we wanted to make sure that we paid really close attention to upgrading the whole lighting situation in this bathroom. Other than that, we just wanted to make it more modern and welcoming. The homeowners really wanted it to feel like it was an oasis like a getaway, something that felt more like a spa than a you know 90s bathroom. Okay, so I'm over at this project and all of the floors have been ripped up. I'm standing in the ensuite bathroom right now and this is kind of the way it's looking. All of these exterior, um, the, the drywall has been taken down and so just the framing has been exposed. Same with over here on this wall. The bathtub has been removed. I mean, everything is gone from this room. So so exciting. This is when I can truly start to visualize way better what the new space will be like because all of the old stuff is gone. So cool. So we had such, a, I should say, I had such a great time selecting the fixtures and the finishes for this bathroom. It truly was a blast. And when we found these four feet by two feet tiles, I was literally, I love them the moment I saw them. And we brought some samples to the homeowners and you know, after a little while going back and forth with different tiles, they landed on these ones being their favorite. And I was so excited because I truly love them. They look like a really elegant marble. They have this beautiful veining through it. And in certain lights, that veining catches the light. There's like a bit of a sheen to part of it. And it looks so elegant and so refined. So we wanted to put those on the floor as well as on the walls in the shower. Massive, massive tiles on the wall in the shower. However, we did break up the wall in the shower with some of these beautiful marble picket tiles. This is absolutely beautiful. And Les Anderson Construction did this bathroom and they did such an impeccable job putting this little niche in the shower wall. It is absolutely perfect. It looks so good. And then we decided to really make a punch with our plumbing fixtures and we went with matte black. This rain head is matte black, the whole shower set is matte black and it looks absolutely stunning on these beautiful white tiles. On the shower floor, we went with a dark gray hexagon tile. That way, you know, it's if it gets dirtier down there or, you know, white, white tiles can be a real pain to keep clean in a shower. So we decided to go with a darker tile in the shower. One of the changes that we made in this shower was we made it longer. We made it a more comfortable shower to be in. Instead of this tiny little box behind the door, we elongated it and made it much more of a comfortable space. By enclosing the entire thing in glass, it helps this whole bathroom feel open and spacious and bigger really than it is. 
And we got rid of that massive corner tub and we brought this gorgeous squared angular freestanding tub. It is so beautiful. All throughout this home, we were mimicking this rectangle shape. As you'll see on the wall by the bathtub, there is this beautiful pattern that we decided to do with some trim. We've mimicked that shape, this rectangle pattern all throughout the home. And so what I wanted to do in the bathroom was I wanted to bring in a little bit of opposition with some curved shapes. And so when I saw these light uh, these wall sconces and this mirror, I thought this was the perfect way to introduce some uh, curved shapes into this bathroom. So it's a square bottom and it's straight edges on this mirror, but the top is curved, which is so lovely. These wall sconces have a really beautiful curved shade, but the actual piece that attaches to the wall is square. And so I just love the mixture of these straight lines and these curved edges. So we decided to continue with that in this bathroom. So you'll see that there are certain fixtures that are squared and straight edged and and then other ones that have this beautiful slope and this curve to them. We carried that through in these gorgeous champagne bronze plumbing fixtures at the vanity. These faucets are so beautiful. We also mirrored a little bit more of that curve with these light fixtures above the vanity. You guys have told you this before, but if you mount your lights to the mirror, you will get double the light. And so we have completely fixed the lighting issue in this bathroom by having incredible lighting and then mounting it on a mirror to double the lighting. I really wanted this vanity to feel like it was a piece of standalone furniture as opposed to just like a bathroom vanity. So we selected one that kind of lifts off the ground a little bit. We brought in the champagne bronze for all of the, the hardware on this vanity so that it's kind of its own unique piece and it really separates itself from all of the black hardware in the rest of the bathroom. And then we again duplicated the curve with these beautiful mushroom knobs on the drawers. And then we again mimicked the whole straight line with these pulls on the door covers. And I just think it's beautiful. The, the combination of the shapes and the finish and, and the, comp the way that these all work together in this bathroom really makes this space look so elevated and so elegant. You'll notice that the plumbing fixture for this tub has a gorgeous gooseneck. It's curved. It's just so sleek and so beautiful. I just, I just love it. It's absolutely perfect for this space. We didn't really want to do too much as far as bringing in other colors to this space. To be honest, I am still looking for a print to go above the toilet. That's an empty wall right now. Um, other than that though, we just brought in a marble tray and a marble trash can and a marble, marble soap dispenser. Like we just wanted it to be really monochromatic and really neutral. So it was just so serene and easy on the eyes and really, truly, it looks so spectacular. So I'm curious, if you had this bathroom, would you be the bath person or the shower person? I totally would be the bath person. I posted a picture of this bathroom on Instagram and someone was like, if I had that bathroom, I'd live in there. And I was like, yep, and you can serve me my meals in the tub. <laughs> So just a quick tip, if you have glass in your bathroom, one of the things you're gonna wanna keep on hand is a squeegee. I removed it so, while I was filming, but there is a squeegee that hangs on a hook in this bathroom shower, so that as soon as you're done your shower, before you get out, just squeegee off the glass, and it really goes a long way in keeping the glass looking clean and crystal clear, and you won't have like watermarks and spots and all the things that could really make glass in a bathroom look really terrible. Okay guys, what's your favorite part of this master bathroom? I would love to hear from you. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you guys for joining along on this whole interior design journey that I'm on. Um, I have a new Instagram account. I've shared it here a couple of times before, but it's just showcasing all of the different design projects that I'm working on. I so appreciate you guys coming along with me, giving me your feedback and just, yeah, coming along for the ride, you know, trying something new and stepping out and putting yourself out there. It's scary. <laughs> it can be uncomfortable, but at the end of the day, it's so much fun. And I absolutely love creating spaces that people walk into and they feel at home. They feel like themselves. They're like, I love this space. It's a lot of fun. So thank you guys so much for coming along this journey with me. I can't wait to come back next week. I'm going to show you another finished bathroom this one is in my house. We have had one bathroom this entire time and we have teenage daughters and it's time. We needed to get a second bathroom. So we have just finished their bathroom in our basement and it is pink and black and it is so much fun and I can't wait to show you. I'll see you guys back here next week at I Am Love.